Hi, this is a follow up now to the tutorial that I gave you earlier on how to integrate expressions of the form ax plus b to the power n with respect to x, where n was any rational power except negative 1. And this was our answer that we got. So we've got uh, three examples here that I've picked for you. If you still haven't done them, you might like to just pause the video, have a go. OK, well let's just see how you might have got on with these. So, taking this integral, first of all I'd want to pull out the 2 out the front of the integral because it's a constant. And that leaves us then with 10x plus 3 all to the power 2 integrated with respect to x. So what we have is the 2 stays the same. We've got 10x plus 3 and we raise that to the power 3. We add 1 onto that power. And then we must divide through by that new power 3 and also this value here, the a part of the ax plus b, the 10. And we mustn't forget that constant of integration plus c. That's because if we were to differentiate 10x plus 3 all to the power 3, we would end up putting a 3 at the front and timesing it by the differential of the 10x plus 3. That would give us a 10. And we end up having to cancel them out, the 3 and the 10. All right? Anyway, so cleaned up, this gives us 2 over 30 or 1 over 15, 1 15th of 10x plus 3 all to the power 3 and then the constant of integration. So you should have got that. Or you could in fact just write 10x plus 3 all cubed all over 15 if you want and just drop that 1. It's up to you. Right, what about this one here? Well, again we've got a constant here which I can pull out the front of the integral. And then I've got 2x minus 4 all cube rooted and squared. So I could rewrite that as 2x minus 4. Because it's cube rooted, that would be to the third. But because it's squared here, it'll be to the power 2 thirds. And so that's integrated with respect to x. You don't have to pull out, by the way, these constants out the front of the integral. But I feel it helps. It just leaves it uncluttered, okay? So, when it comes to integrating the 2x minus 4 to the power 2 thirds, then I'm going to get 2x minus 4, add 1 to the power, so that now becomes to the power 5 thirds. If we add another 3 thirds to this, we get 5 thirds. And we need to divide by the power and this number in front of the x. So we need to divide by the 2 and the new power 5 thirds. And we've got that constant of integration there. Now we need to clean this up. So what I could do is times top and bottom here by 3 to eliminate this 3 here. I would then end up with 7 3's are 21 over 2 5's are 10. So 21 tenths of 2x minus 4 to the power 5 thirds plus c. Alright. Now what about this one here? Well, with this one, I'd want to pull out the 5 to the front of the integral. And then I have got 1 over 7x plus 1 all to the power 4 integrated with respect to x. Now 1 over 7x plus 1 to the power 4 can be written as the integral of 7x plus 1 to the power minus 4 integrated with respect to x. So I've got that in this format again, so away we go. We're just going to have then 5, add 1 to the power, so if we add 1 to the power of negative 4 we get minus 3. And then we divide by the new power and the number here, the a value. So we've got 7 and that minus 3. 
and then we've got the constant of integration. Clean this one up and you've got 5 over minus 21. So I'll just write that as minus and then 5 over 21 there and 7x plus 1 to the power of minus 3 plus c. You could leave it like this but I'm going to work with that power of minus 3. We can think of this as 1 over 7x plus 1 all cubed and so if I group it with the minus 5 over 21 I get minus 5. I'm going to centralize that 5 and then move the 21 over and then we've got the 7x plus 1 all to the power 3 and then plus c. Alright, so as I say, I hope you've uh, been able to work through those, see the method that applies if we've got this type of formula, which is essentially the inverse of the chain rule. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this particular video.